This one is called Write Type, and basically it's a program for kids, but uh, really can be for anyone that wants to improve their typing skills or maybe uh, their vocab at the same time. So let me bust this out here, and it's really easy to use, just like a word processor, but it gives you like a uh, you know a suggestion bank or a word bank here in the side, or they call it a word database. And yeah, you know, if you're a kid, you don't know how to spell something. This will actually be really helpful, you know, on the side here. And what else is here? Like I am Zeus or something like that. Uh, what else can you do here? You have the basic bold italics, underlying, highlight. I do have this highlight mode. I'm not really sure if it's really that useful. I guess you have to be a teacher to understand this, but you can highlight, highlight, highlight. There you go per word or the whole thing it doesn't really matter uh, let's go to the settings here what is this alright as far as the custom words you can actually add in your own if you didn't see you know the words that you want to show up uh, you can add in your own as far as the word list I guess it mainly depends on the level of the person using this if you need like um, a huger word list uh, you can go all the way to ginormous uh, it might you know slow down your computer if it has like a bigger uh, database other than that I don't see any problem with that uh, as far as the word completion if you're using this program I don't really recommend it because you know the basic goal of this is to help you type and uh, maybe learn the vocab at the same time uh, so that's why I don't really recommend that as far as auto completion same thing you know if you're gonna use this program to type uh, you probably need it uh, to learn the words, okay? And as far as the others, what we can do here is the TTS engine is the text to speech, and they do have a few you can choose from. So you have uh, festival. I don't know what this middle one is. I never used that. And eSpeak. The first one and the last one uh, is okay. It's not the greatest, but you know you get something there. So I like using eSpeak. And I'll show you that in a minute. So let's let me show you right here. So hello, I'm Zeus, uh, God of Gods, and I own. Well, all right, you have like a sentence just like that. Now this is icon here, and if you click this icon, show you. Hello, I'm Zeus. Dot, dot, dot. I own people with you see it says uh, the whole census for you now there's a difference between that and just highlighting uh, I guess the phrase or the census and it will just say that part only so if I highlight this part dot, dot, dot. and you see it only says that part so that's what you can do with the text to speech and to install that um, let me show you here because you have different engines and I don't think they installed it by default so you have to actually go into your uh, either your K package but I like us using Synaptic so if you're using a uh, eSpeak right just install the eSpeak right there I'm not sure if they have other languages so it's, I guess it's only for English right now but what's the other one festival uh, festival here. This is the other one. Uh, this one has more support uh, for the other ones. What's this one? Uh, what's that? They got Hindi, Tegulu, Gulu. I'm not even sure how you say that one, man. Uh, what is this one? Italian support. Um, there you go. So maybe festival is better than eSpeak because they have like different languages. But as far as the program. Uh, I think it's only uh, support English uh, words right now. I'm not sure about like Spanish or Italian or something like that. So check that out if you're into this, and maybe if you're a teacher or your parent that you want to uh, let your kids use, I would say this is really great. It works well on GNOME too, but I just want to show it here because it's a native Qt app. So that's that, okay? And end of this screencast.